With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is prove that cos square theta plus x square theta can never be less than 2 for all values of what theta belongs to real value minus what except this one value 2 and plus 1 having the value of pi by 2 angle where n belongs to what integer value here. First of all what I have to do here as you can see that this is what my solution part here right. So first of all we know that what is the range of cos theta function or we can say from which value cos theta varies. So basically cos theta is what always greater than equals to minus 1 and less than equals to what 1. This we very well know and similarly for the value of what cos square theta. So cos square theta value always what less than equals to 1 and what greater than equals to 0. Just remember this thing as you know that these are important points here I have. Okay now question says that we have to what if I find the values of what when theta is what theta is basically theta belongs to real value minus of what 2n plus 1 having the value of what pi by pi by 2. Also it means that we can say that theta should not be equal to what this should not be equal to 2n plus 1 right having the value of what this one has put pi by 2 here. Okay, so now after this what I can do here that as I can write here that so as it's given to me in the question that theta should not be equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 it means that what theta is what pi by 2 when and cos pi by 2 value is what we know that cos pi by 2 is basically 0 so it means that this function cos square theta cannot having the value of what 0 and also apart from this now if I have to check for this one sec square theta so we know that sec theta or sec 90 first if I case if I put the value of n is what 0 so sec theta should not be equal to what should never be equal to infinite value right because it's a condition here I have so we can say that sec theta okay sec theta equals to what belongs to real values okay so in that case what is the uh, range where sec theta varies so basically sec theta varies from minus infinite to what minus 1 minus infinite to minus 1 and then what union we are having 1 to 1 to infinite right this is the range values of this function sec theta right so after this so from now we can say that sec square theta value what sec square theta value is always this should not, should not be only equal to this should always be greater than equals to greater than equals to what 1 right because if this is a function sec theta I have here so we can say this varies from minus infinity to inf uh, 1 and this value if I do the squaring so this will become all positive and we can say 1 comma infinite will go so this square function will always what greater than equals to 1 value okay so now I have two positive values which one first one is what sec square theta and another I have what cos square theta these are all always greater than what positive value so we can say that these are always greater than equals to 0 or we can say positive values is there so in that case we can say that for these two values arithmetic mean right is always greater than what geometric mean we know this property right from the arithmetic progression and geometric progression so in that case if I have two numbers here cos square theta and sec square theta so this will become what so first one cos square theta plus of what minus sec square theta divided by what 2 this is my arithmetic mean should always be greater than equals to what okay so geometric mean will be what cos square theta cos square theta with the product of what sec square theta and this one having the power of what exactly you know going to very well 1 by 2 okay so now from this what I can do here as we can know that cos square theta into sec square theta this is what give me 1 right so this is what greater than equals to 1 having the power of what 1 by 2 why from this because I know that since cos theta is equals to what basically 1 upon sec theta right no confusion in this now and this function on the LHS side we have here so this is remain same as it is cos square theta and plus of what sec square theta right divide by what 2 so from this we are going to receive that cos square theta plus of what sec square theta should always be greater than equals to what if I put this 2 on the RHS side so this will be what 2 okay and I guess this is the end solution we are looking for right question says that I have to prove that cos square theta plus sec square theta should always be greater than what equals to 2 so this is what we have to prove hence proved also you guys can look at the top can never be less than 2 it means that it should always be greater than equals to what 2 so this is the answer we are looking for for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today